regardless, they still should be considered the favorites regardless of the scenario. And indeed, I now immediately getting the open. Play. Oh, and cold shoulder picks away toward Garage as well. Deals with Dash nicely, and now they've locked Bobs in toward the Africa position, I believe it's called. And next we'll finish off the... The read is, is pretty swift here from 0-0. Zero, zero. The read is good, but I don't think they're winning the duels, as you'd expect for them to, from them so far. Nato gets one back in return, and now Demand might have a play if he can win this duel, and there we go. That's a nice one to find. He's getting spammed down from the other side of Hart, and he gets a bit TZ. This should be that converted retake here. I'm going to give it a go. Demao will find Dash using that one-way smoke on the paint pot. But they'll drop straight into Bobs, who's playing CT vent. But it's back into a one versus one from all that. And NQZ can't finish Ooh. it off, so... Precisas de novas skins? Regista-te em CSGO Fest e faz os teus teammates invejosos. Dá boost na tua inventoria em alguns cliques. Coloca o promo code e obtém bônus. Link na descrição do vídeo. Go, go, go! Nice shot. A little bit of information again cleaned over. Too cold. But he still wants to take the duel. This is bold from nice. cold, and he still picks up the double. No trading here into the lower bomb site. NQZ gets activated as well. It's just Lub and Dash, and they've gotten themselves ramp control, but at what cost? And if they drop down toward the vents, that might not be the best play, but that flash is superb. Time is a problem, though, and Lato is here as well, and that time will be their biggest enemy. Lato gets one, and NQZ gets the other. There was no time for that bomb plot. We, we know the kind of legendary status that he has. Kind of a faster play in toward A this time around, and actually Lub get that, get, get that opening frag toward next, surprisingly, but Bobs hasn't spotted them out or the top of heart. I'm not sure what information that Bob's had there, because surely they would have known that Demao got those kills from that position. Does very well to get himself three. And now into the open, waiting arms of Cold Zera. Desh can't convert the frag. Support, if needed at any point. That smoke will not block off the angle, and that's just a free pick for NQZ. You can't afford to give him these opportunities, and he doubles up straight away. Get this frag in a second or so. There we go. Gun barrel spotted. Freebie. And now they can try and go for a more aggressive play, and they've locked Cold into the, the back of Garage nicely. W1 finds Lato as well in the meantime, so his recovery is superb. But Dumao answers back, and that drops the bomb outside as well. 35 seconds to go, Ooh. and he goes aggressive with his teammate next. 15 seconds left on the clock, and so many angles to clear for the youngster here. Yep. And not aware of CT Red. Position on the rafters, on the railings. And now it looks like off the back of that zero zero nation, going to go for some control toward lobby, and the flash is glorious. Demao gets both, and Lob couldn't trade it instantly, and they know he's there. And that's Ooh. just absolute ownage from Demao. No zero nation, they have some, so I wouldn't mind to see them throw in a couple of players, perhaps. Eight to two up, so it doesn't matter too much. Bob's trying to lurk around outside, looking for something. But he might walk into two players in a moment. Sun will try and make his way up toward heaven. Cold now fighting for his life, but removed by Lob. Demao now has to step up once again. There's three players group up toward main, but Bob's heaven position could be the biggest issue. Surely he gets caught in the side in a second, and there's the first. But thankfully, that actually activates Jamal, and now he's safe for a while, because NQZ is still activated toward the back oh. of the site. Seven seconds to go. You just can't deal with them right now. Too good from Zero Zero Nation. Right place, right time. But how do ITZ... Yeah, they're going to go straight into a mini crunch, and they've got the entry. That's good. That's really good. The flash was spot on to block off NQZ. Now, Cold needs to step up, though, and he most certainly is doing so. We'll drop straight down to the ground and tries to mask it by shooting a few bullets. But if they try and trade him, unfortunately, just next is there. And he would immediately answer back. W1 working his way in toward lobby, but Cold is still holding it. Needs this frag, and he gets another Ooh. one. Uh, is just sitting on top of the rafters, and you're just confused if you're INTZ. <laughs> you, you think that you're... Even with that opening, of course, just... Facing cold was too far gone, and oh, NQZ actually times that one really nicely. That was not an easy shot to hit, it's only really the hand and leg was showing. Went for the hand, managed to hit, get the hit, and get the frag. Just about gets away as well, out of the clutches of Bob's. And there's a double secret walk coming in from the CT side here as well to try and have a bit of a scout out toward outside. So that might catch him off guard later on. To answer back at least, Desh and Lub will go together toward the ramp position, but there's the walk from next from Secret. That just cleans out that position entirely. This round screams an outclass and experience oh. and in talent.
And Lado does so much damage there. But 8 <laughs> HP between these last two INTZ members. They'll be lucky to get a plant. As Cold Zero makes the rotation in. Flash to boot. And it should just be all she wrote. A 12th all but confirmed here for zero zero nation it's very very stuck and he'll get removed by cold as well Shun toward ramp right now players coming his way it's a bit of a whiffy start though tight angle for that org can only get some damage before he has to fall back towards the site itself but cold's in the right position oh okay leo gets that one but guess who's here guess who's here it's dumal but he missteps slightly and gets caught on the ladder it's so going to have to be Ooh. down to nqz and lato now with desh lurking up up comes nqz from the vents and almost takes down the Heaven player as well. And now, Love waiting for the, the AWP to push forward. And he does manage to grab that kill nicely. As NQZ works his way through the fire. But Lato has an incredibly winnable one versus two here. I think he knows where one player is. But is he aware of the second? That is the question. And he most certainly isn't. I'm afraid to say Bob's just got bobbed. He's been <laughs> tagged down already immediately. And Cold, will he check the close angle? He most certainly will. Bob doesn't even get a chance, and even though the Ooh. dualies are close up, Leo is given no opportunity to use them. And Love has been gooshed as well down to 20. It's just, uh, it falls apart for INTZ, I'm afraid. And this is a bit of a, a Cold Zero masterclass, teaching some of these kids a bit of a lesson. But of course, it's just, it's a bo 3, it's not like it's a, a BO1 or a Swiss or something like that. They have a chance to hit back in map 2. Unfortunately, of course, that's uh, the Zero Zero Nation pick of Inferno, so be tough to bounce back. But of course, there's a lower bracket, so we'll get another chance. We shall see how that will pan out. Some good damage done to W1, trying to save his Kevlar. Can he get away with it? That is the question. And we've got decent utility as well. Fast upper crunch here for the Zero Zero Nation members. Cold Zera and Doom out chime in with some beautiful trades. But as Bob's pushes through that mini smoke, he gets punished, and so does Lotto. Or sorry, sorry, so does Dash. Lotto with the killing blow. And it's 15 on the board, blinking you miss it. INTZ are now fighting up against map point on their pick, no less of new. Yeah, actually, I really like that sort of play, right? I mean, it, it's interesting that, you know, some teams, when you have, when you have like, the first gun round to come in, for a T side, you'd really want to just put in a default and just play it slowly. But when you have an advantage like this, it just seems pointless to do that. Just try something pacey. And that's exactly what Zero Zero Nation did, and I'm very happy that the result was great. W1's oh. just looking for kills here, and he was actually going to go for it in the end, and just trying to be thrown in toward the A side. But as we said... Five versus four. This should be a zero zero nation cleanup. MP9 looking for Lato. And Lato actually kills Leo first directly behind oh. him. Can you believe it? Takes both in the end. Nothing you can do about this, Ryan TZ. XM comes firing its way in, but he baits him into NQZ. Desh in the open with the UMP, about to be swung upon. And Damao will finish the job. 24 to 7 for Damao and 22 to 7. A decent plan. They've got a grenade to try and prevent it. But the first player's kind of separated from the rest. They'll all group up together as the P2000 goes straight in through the CT smoke. And now Nexus is put in a very tough position. Ooh. But goodness me, that third. Pretty sexy, I've got to say. At least W1 last alive. And they're just going to swarm him with a... Especially in the mid-rounding. So they're going to try and peek it together toward mid at least. That would be a good plan. But Dash actually takes cold before NQZ gets that trade. So not too bad. A result in the end. They're all plus sure, but at least got him one kill. And now they're going to go back toward B. 40 seconds. It's up to Lato to defend it. Two players coming his way. They're a bit split up. So that might give Lato a chance. He's going to refuse to show himself until the last second. Stomp comes in, and that's an easy headshot toward Leo. Can he get any more? He can't. Great headshot from W1. And with Lubs Lurk in the apartment spotted, this is probably going to be an impossible retake for 0-0. And four with this weakened CT economy. But they've got to take this opportunity with both hands. They're happy to instead aggress down into the apartments. NQZ pre-firing this t balk situation. And he gets rewarded. Lub goes down early. They can disassemble quickly and efficiently. Demar will finally move forward back toward Ruins. As Leo tries to creep up. But the bomb still dropped at the back of T-Steps. So... They haven't made their mind up yet. And right now, Dry Peaks is kind of what's what is giving... Zero Zero Nation, these three opportunities. If Leo crosses this angle, he can get caught immediately when Dumao swings. Lato will go for the duel first. In comes the frag. Ooh, I don't know. 
concentrate anyway if he somehow got taken down. So now does go down though. Lato is going to be double flashed in. And he even reacts. Oh, oh yeah. a big miss from Desh as well. Something That's a shame. like that. Cole gets a flashbang in action right now. He could be in really good position. Oh, okay. W1 actually goes for the wall bang. We all know that apart from this is paper thin and it works out nicely. And that's a bit of a whiff from next. Hits four bullets, but that's not enough. Demel will finish him off, though. So back into a 4v2, and they should be safe on the back of this. NQZ got one in the meantime as well. Cole Zera here's the running. Easy double tap in the head, and he finds Desh as well perfectly. Could not be better. 7 to 1. Now, and look at this, man. Next just flying through alt mid you've got apartments players oh, no fighting way. as well a lotto through the side of the roof just rips what w1's head clean off and oh, this aggression oh, is so a little bit unwarranted yeah cold zera is there to chime in and nqz down mid An advantage to be given over to intz and they want to try and go through with it and just go straight into lotto here oh the flash is so good though and that's another Ooh. one to come through from Lato. he's fighting for his life but he's doing a great job on it right now that's three looking for four it's oh. a beautiful hold he could even get an ace on this hold and he gets it done Lato. that could not have been on better there. on their scoreboard on their kd in this game but Lato certainly wants to increase it he's been going for those peaks draw banana quite often but this time with the orp a secondary orp as well so much money in the bank they can just continue to afford to do this NQZ spots that player, but cold now. You've got support coming in. He will slightly... Uh, oh, okay. Actually, falls apart entirely. Purely because of the timing there of the, the players rushing through from the bottom of apartments. And now Dumao is under a lot of pressure. He gets himself oh. two, though, and he couldn't even make it three. Oh, one bullet needed for that third kill. And he gets it toward Desh. It's now Lub one versus two. Only one kill on the board so far, and he'll walk straight into oh. Lato. Cut off the lane side so they can't push out Boiler and they can't push out Short side. But it doesn't matter. They wait for the smoke to fade on the arch side. Bob's does get the kill on the NQZ again. It's only a second or third death, rather. And now they're up lane. They've got at least a little bit of sight control, but they haven't been able to deal with next. One for him, but not go. another. Leo gets a perfect little trade there. And surely there should be a bomb plan to confirm here in the 2v2. This is doable now. This is their first position they've been in, uh, in this sort of situation for a long time. But look at the Aww. flashes. Leo had no idea that he's being run down so quickly by cold. So it's W1 in a 1v2. He needs to turn that 1 in his name to a 2. And he's got that 1. But now Lato is holding the bomb. And he's deciding just to stick on it right now. It's going to be a clean defuse. And W1 was not expecting that whatsoever. And he even gets spammed. And that one was really close 2-1. And then occasionally... You can have games like this, which are just utter blowouts and domination, even when you don't think that'll be the case. We favoured Zero Zero Nation oh. without a shadow of a doubt, but maybe not as dominant as this. Marching toward it. Bomb drops. W1 goes for a duel, but it's not At to be. Moment. And Next is going to go fast up and on, on this pistol round. B hopping his way in, and he spot both players towards the sandbags. Leo gets away with his one kill, but it took so long to get the trade. Cold Zero takes him down, and NQZ makes it a 4v2. It's going to be a quick end and uh, a fast death, I think. Oh, and long range. Cold Zero dinks as well onto Dash. It's just love. The newest addition to this INTG squad. With quite the mountain to climb and NQZ rips his head off. 15. It'll be a quality matchup, no doubt. Lub, oh, he can't even get a body spam sorted. Cold Zero is too accurate on the headshot, even while jumping up to apartments. He doesn't get caught off as well, just as he tries to re-smoke Banana. It's those sort of timings which just never work in your favour when you're this far behind. So unfortunate. And with that one kill, it leaves only W1 on the B site. Lado gets to live as well, so... Or, sorry, Dumao rather. And Bob's, he just takes a peek down mid. See you later. And again, it's only W1 with the hopes and dreams of INTZ in the upper bracket here and now. But can't convert the last bullet onto Dumao and it's just Dash. Great little shot to open up this round. Oh. But that's all she wrote. Cold Zera finishes, this, finishes things off in style. And we'll see you.